bol on PC, but not from Sony. Sony hates Bloodborne. Sometimes what you need to hear isn't what you want to hear. Like the time in high school when I told a girl I liked her and she said, ew. Did I want to hear that? No. Did it make me stronger and did I learn from it? No. No. Absolutely not. That was like the meanest possible response. Oh my god. But point is, that's so sometimes bad. you gotta get the cold water. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm splashing you with that cold water. Bloodborne is never getting a remake, a remaster, no! or... Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Port, and especially not a sequel. I'm putting my foot... A uh, sequel from- I don't think it should get a sequel from what I heard. I- again, I'm- at the moment, I'm currently playing the game. I'm currently playing through the game, but what I heard from people is that the story is pretty... Um, done. You know? That you go in, and the story is completed. When you finish the game. So, from what I heard, it doesn't need a sequel, but- Remastered though, the, the 30 FPS is so jarring. Down. Every single video game conference in every single year, everyone in chat is spamming Bloodborne, Bloodborne. announcements coming. This is the one, finally Bloodborne. Bloodborne. We're gonna get Bloodborne port news, this and that. Bloodborne. And now the big cope is Bloodborne's 10 year anniversary is coming up. They're finally going to say something about it. I didn't even know. Oh, right, what did you guys say it came out in 2015? Oh no, chat, no. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not coming. No! The closest we will ever get to anything new Bloodborne related is from the fans who are working diligently to bring it to PC. Bloodborne, is, uh, Bloodborne on PC is getting closer to completion. Bro, I do wanna play the port that people are making. But at the same time, Germany is really harsh on piracy laws. Germany is really, really, really harsh on piracy laws. And I'm too scared of, of piracy laws. I don't want to go to jail. So I guess I'm going to stick with my 30 FPS on my PlayStation. With improved visuals and improved frame rate. They are doing the Lord's work, and I think that'll be the last chapter in the Bloodborne Legacy when that's finally completed and brought to PC. I don't think Sony will ever do anything with Bloodborne again. They will let it fester and rot away, collecting cobwebs in their bin of forgotten toys they don't feel like playing with. It doesn't Man. make me happy to say these things. I am a massive Bloodborne fan. It's tied with Elden Ring for my favorite Souls game ever made. Damn. And that's the entire genre Damn. of Souls, Soulsborne, Souls-like, whatever terminology yeah, 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 you want to yeah, use. Yeah, yeah. Bloodborne and Elden Ring are tied for me at the number Elden Ring is spot. amazing. I think the game is legitimately a masterpiece. And I mean, Chad, once I picked up Bloodborne again, I barely can put the game away. I mean, you know how long I've been streaming the past days because of Bloodborne. <laughs> Bro, Bloodborne is so fucking good. And I would love to see more from it. But unfortunately, I think the only way I'll see more from it is if I close my eyes and just fucking imagine it. Put myself in a box like Spongebob and Patrick and pretend I'm playing Bloodborne 2 or Bloodborne on PC. I don't think it will ever actually come. I do think, though, that uh -huh. someone will probably license the Bloodborne IP and maybe do, like, some kind of big show out of it. I could see that happening. Ooh. I believe Sony would be more willing to license it out for, like, a show production than they would to make another game out of it. So that, I do think, could be on the table. I just don't think there's going to be any more Bloodborne games or a Bloodborne Man. port or remaster, whatever. I don't think that's coming. But I could see a, a world where it at least has a show out of it because everything's getting shows nowadays, and that is, this true. is still a hot. That is so true. Not everything should get a show, though. Most of the shows that are coming out for video game media are unfortunately a flop. Property that people talk about every day for the last fucking nine years. Concord so is getting a show. You're kidding, right? You're kidding. There's no way. You're, you're lying. Please say...
at least an episode a part in the show oh my god please tell me they're making fun of it please tell me they're making fun of it though there is meat behind it and i think that no. they might oh try and god. capitalize off that at some point fucking concord has a whole episode dedicated um, to it chat you pre-watched this video Chad, how dare you pre <laughs> What the fuck, Chad? <laughs> in that upcoming secret level show, and that game died in two weeks. That game actually just got pulled off life support in two weeks. So, games to shows pipeline is hot right now, and I think that could definitely happen for Bloodborne, but I don't think there's going to be a game for it. Even though Miyazaki and the team seem to really still love Bloodborne, Feels he bad. has gone on record to say that they don't own that IP. Pain. Pain. Unfortunately, and I've said this in other interviews, it's not my place to talk about Bloodborne specifically. We simply don't own the IP at From Software. Sony owns it. And it's very important to mention this, that Sony's first party developer, Japan Studio, which is defunct, had a major role in the development of Bloodborne. So, a What does defunct mean? Sorry. Defunct. Functionality? Defunct? What is defunct? No longer existing or functioning. Oh no. Oh no. Big speculation is that because Japan Studio oh, is no. in the Shadow Realm now, that's been fucking vaporized, that kind of took Bloodborne with it. But we can oh, sit no. around in a circle till the cows come home and speculate, articulate, gyrate, ejaculate, all brainstorming about why Sony is sitting on a gold mine like Bloodborne and never really know the full answer. I have my own theories that I'll share with you. I think Game the theory. Japan Studio shutdown is probably a big component of it, but I personally just believe that Sony doesn't have a lot of faith in the IP. And in the modern AAA gaming landscape... I think that's what Sony is actually e thinking. I think that's what Sony is actually thinking. How many units did Bloodborne sell? Bloodborne sold 7.4 million units. That's... I would say pretty good still. I would say that's pretty fucking good. But then let's see how much did Horizon Zero Dawn sell. 24.3 million units. Sony hates money? No! Horizon Zero Dawn sold way more than Bloodborne. Horizon Zero Dawn sold 24.3 million. Well, Bloodborne sold 7.4, so uh, Sony is like, that game sold more. Zero Dawn is on all platforms, no? Now it is. Now it is. Before it wasn't. It wasn't on the PC for the longest time. It came on PC a handful of years back, and the game is almost 10 years old now, too? No. Eight years? Something like that. Couple hates risk, yeah. Now I understand that Blop One is only on the PlayStation and Horizon overall. Also, no, no, this is this is just best selling PlayStation Four video games. This is just PlayStation Four. Twen uh, bro. Ah, uh, no, no, no. This is still uh, Blop One. Okay, twenty four point three million on Horizon Zero Dawn in total. By April. Damn, by April. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Thing is, though, Sony might still see, like, oh, they sold more. They don't care. They just see number, you know? Even an iota of... And I'm, I'm not, like, trying to, like, excuse them for it. I still think it's stupid, too. I'm just trying to find the reason why they think the way they do. Doubt. Companies don't pull the trigger on it because it's very expensive, especially for something as big as Bloodborne. I talked about this on stream and people brought up Armored Core 6. Armored Core 6 sold, I think it was 3 million copies, which was actually a big success for them because they didn't put 
you know, the hundred million dollar budget behind that title, and it still fucking crushed it. Bloodborne, that would be a chunky uh, financial development cycle. Like, that would cost a lot, and the first Bloodborne sold seven million copies, which is oh, really go. good, don't get me wrong. That's it is yes. by any metric, except Sony's. I am of yeah. the firm belief That's what I that mean. Sony only That's what I mean. thinks in hundred plus million dollars. That's what I mean too. So, take for example Concord. Absolute Sony only looks at the number. Disaster. I already mentioned Voldemort's name earlier in this video already. That is the biggest flop in entertainment history. But that was a flop that cost hundreds of millions of dollars to Sony. Because they put all their eggs in that basket of Concord thinking that it could have the same kind of power as the juggernauts in the industry. Completely delusional. But the point is, I feel like they only put their elbow grease in hundreds of millions of dollars worth of development time and games that they are confident could somehow compete at that level. And I don't think they feel that way about Bloodborne. Let's take, for example, Horizon. Horizon is already getting a remake, despite only being seven years old. But that's because Horizon sold over 20 million I still don't understand. Now, of course... Yeah, still, I still don't understand why. The game is still beautiful, man. The game is so beautiful. I've said this before, many others have as well. You could very easily make the argument that Horizon sales numbers are inflated. They're really boosted. It's almost like fucking ViewBots to a certain extent, where Horizon was just bundled with every fucking PlayStation for so long that obviously those sales numbers are going to be heavily oh, that is also boosted true. for it. Wait, 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 that's so, also a good point. I still think the game is extraordinarily popular and sold many, many millions of copies, but I think the 20 million plus that it sold is definitely helped by it being part of the bundle. But regardless, to Sony's eyes, the corporate vampires at the top, the goddamn fucking husks in the suits, they're just seeing the numbers. Horizon, yep. huge numbers. This must mean that it's a slam dunk guarantee anytime we touch this property. So that's why they put so much behind it. You got Lego Horizon coming out. You've got Horizon out the wazoo. Horizon being shoved. Horizon is an amazing game though. I, I love Horizon. Defiant! Hey, thanks for the sub. Bloodborne is also regularly available with Game of Gold Yield, so... Available f with Games for Gold Yields? I don't know what that is. ...in every orifice on the human body for gamers. It is because so... Didn't Forbidden West get mocked by Elden Ring? No disrespect? What do you mean, mocked? What does mocked mean? Is that some... Uh, uh, fucking Zuma language, I'm not understanding. Uh, but Elden Ring definitely put uh, Forbidden West into the shadow. Flexed on? Overshadowed? Yes, definitely did. Definitely did. No, 100% did. I did, I did, I did. Both amazing games, though. I played both. I love both. Sony has seen huge numbers and huge returns, so they keep doing How much more did for, uh, with Bloodborne, Forbidden there West is a sell single them. game that sold very well, but it's also been a long time, so maybe they're just skeptical that, you know, this yeah. very vocal... Okay, Forbidden West, which is the um, sequel, sold 8.4 million. ...might not go out and buy it, because that is a very real possibility, too, with things, and I mentioned this on stream, like the new Prince of Persia Lost Crown. People have been begging for a good Prince of Persia game for God knows how long, and begging for a good Ubisoft game for Lord knows <laughs> oh, how long. Lord. And finally, a great Prince of Persia game came out from Ubisoft, and it flopped. Nobody bought it. Uh, but the people that lucky. did really liked it. I've heard it's one of the best games of the year. Oh, I actually haven't played it myself what? yet, and I'm still playing through Nine Souls. But the people I've seen glazing this game are people whose tastes usually align with mine when it comes to games. So I Ouch. do think that they're probably right that the game slaps. And even though the game came out and was very well received, it highly underperformed for them. And that happens from time to Damn. time where something is highly requested. People are really wanting something fucking foaming at the mouth saying like, we need this. This is like a, you know, this is a home run. This is a layup if they just deliver it. Then the thing comes out and it doesn't translate to success. It. That does yeah. happen from time to time. You can never really be sure based on, like, the people that are very vocal about it. You never really know for sure. And I think that's something that Sony might think for Bloodborne, but I feel like Bloodborne is at a point where it is so well-known 
and comes from a developer that has so much prestige that that shouldn't be a thought it should that not be an their issue mind. yeah i'm just saying that it is a possibility that it is something they can yeah i think uh, i think I, that's I, the main reason i can't too. even pretend to be in sony like i shoes, think that's the reason it was me, they, that they are literally just looking at the numbers and it's so sad it, this would be a no-brainer to do something with bloodborne uh, at least a pc port that would have come out many yeah. years ago with me at the helm like that feels like it should be so obvious and that's such a small lift like a small investment to just port to pc like i know i'm kind of downplaying like what the work that goes into it but comparatively to a full-blown triple a yeah. title being developed like that one is significantly easier for them to Many people would buy Bloodborne just to see what the hype is about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would... Bro, I'm playing Bloodborne on P on PlayStation. I would buy it for a PC to play it on PC. I know so many people that have played Bloodborne on the PlayStation that would instantly get it for PC too. ...have done, and it would have just been pure profit. Because... And a lot of people that have not played it because they do not have a PlayStation and do want to play it. This, the word of this game is spread for so okay, long, Benny, so good night. wide. I think so many people probably would have just gotten it to be part of the crew, part of the ship, you know what I mean? Like, oh, Bloodborne's finally here on PC. I can do that. I can play that now. And I think it would have just popped off for it. But I, I'm just saying, like, even though... Like, there's a very vocal group that wants something to come out. It doesn't always mean it's going to be super successful. But in the case of Bloodborne, I really feel like it probably would. FromSoft is just one of the most beloved developers in the world right now. Everything they touch turns to gold. It's so stupid to not... Bloodborne for PC is the only game I can say without a doubt that I will swipe without hesitation, bro. Um... From software's swords likes are the games that I'm gonna swipe on without any hesitation. Of course, Sony would be inevitably fucked it up for most of the world by adding the PSN requirement. Huh? Why are we talking about PSN now? Oh, uh, what? We're not talk. Why does the PSN matter right now like that's not the topic use bloodborne but sony is choosing to just squat on it i saw someone make a really good point as well in the comment section a little while ago oh they did that for hell divers oh that's what you mean locked out most of the world i mean just create a playstation network account it's not that deep it's not that fucking deep bloodborne online would need psn i mean so what it's not that fucking deep, man. I don't think it's that deep to create an account for... You can't everywhere? Okay, that sucks then. Not all countries have PSN? Okay, okay, that's fair. You know what? That's fair then. Isn't supported in over 180 countries? Okay, what? Why? What the fuck? Okay, no, 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 now you guys have a point. No, no, okay, no, you yeah, guys have a point. What the fuck? About, like, Sony's apprehension to do anything with Bloodborne Most of being East even EU more confusing. Is not when what you the? consider that the, one of their big titles for the PS5, like, their next-gen, like, super system-seller-type title was Demon's Souls Remake. Demon's Souls was... When it came out, how much did original Demon Souls sell? Game. Like that wasn't a household name by any means. The original Demon Souls, I think, eventually pushed over two million once Dark Souls popped off and people wanted to go back and experience like the first. Yeah, it has a total of two point uh, two point five million cells now at this point. First of the Souls series, but it was not a widely popular game. Demon Souls remake, though, they went hard with and put a lot behind. However, it's also not performed, like, amazingly for them. It, it had 2.9 million uh, sales. I'm looking at it right now. Based on what I can tell, the most recent sales figures I can find put it at just over 2 million copies of Demon's Souls Remake. Which I don't it's think is entirely on right Demon's now. Souls' shoulders here. I think it's because of the scarcity of the PS5 initially. You were yeah, more... like, the scarcity of the PS5 was a hell of an issue at the time. We had the... The time we shall not speak of because it does get a, a video demonetized for no fucko reason. But I can say fuck as often as I want to in the video. Makes sense. Thanks, YouTube.
So we had that time period that came out and the PS5 was really, really, really scarcely available. So I guess coupled together, that makes like sense. You to find a fucking Chaos Emerald than you were to find a PS5. And again, Sony only looks at the numbers, though. For the first couple of years. So obviously it's not going to have spectacular sales numbers. But maybe that plays a role in FromSoft being... I wonder how long until the word demonetize demonetizes. I know, right? That would actually... Oh my god. I swear they're gonna do I'm that so at one point. so apprehensive to use the Bloodborne IP for even, like, a remake. I don't know. But PC? it is very odd that they chose <laughs> to the remake fuck? Demon Souls, which did not perform very well... Instead of doing I'm Bloodborne, which did. Even when Bloodborne came out, it was massive. It was a huge success. It's not like it just retroactively became a big success. Demon no, Souls No, it did, was huge. But not Bloodborne. Bloodborne was always a success. Yeah. Yet they haven't touched it. They haven't done anything with it. The uh, Chat, I think it's time to just buy as many copies as possible of Bloodborne on the PlayStation Store to show Sony people are still buying the game. <laughs> closest thing we've had to anything new Bloodborne related is from fucking Astrobot with a costume for Bloodborne. It's so weird. I don't know why they wouldn't have chose Bloodborne for the PS5 remake. That would have made so Honestly, much more sense. Honestly! I really- That's- that's what I'm thinking. Why? I like Demon's Souls remake. I had a great time with it. But just really looking at it, I don't know what Sony has against Bloodborne. Like, the more I break it down, I just cannot fathom this hate boner they have for Bloodborne. I don't- get it i really don't there's got to be something more behind the scenes that's leading to them not doing anything with it i've thrown out so many silly theories and thought processes they might have that leads to them not touching it but at the end of the day i don't get it i think it would have yeah, been still. very simple to do the bare minimum of just giving it an update a pc or port a pc port a remaster so that way you can go over 30 fps because the game Please. is still 30 fps like it would have been the it is oh my god at times it's really so fucking jarring when i'm playing it for you guys oh my god doombot thanks for the easiest follow thing in the world just to do a small scale project with it instead of you know if you don't want a cannonball into the pool whatever i guess it would have just been so easy for sony to test the waters and see how it would like how the community would respond if it would be successful yeah. or not and it just doesn't make sense that they haven't they do this for so many games that are significantly less popular than bloodborne and i don't get it while i may not I understand either. the real motive either. or reason why bloodborne is so stagnant and sony prefers to just let it the rights to the ips but between three companies so they can't agree on who owns what and how much to do with it oh my god get stale and collect dust i do know for sure that they're not going to change sony has proven to me time and time again that they are a creature of habit if they have decided they don't want to use the bloodborne ip they're just not going to use it ever i think Man. sony as a company will probably wither and die and fucking dissolve before they ever do anything with bloodborne again i do think I hope not. They could make a show out of it. Like I said earlier, I think they will eventually start licensing it for shows and all of that. But I do not think there will ever be another Bloodborne game, like an official one, a sequel or a remaster. Sedge. And I just want to throw this Hail Mary out there because Sedge. I know it goes against what a lot of people believe that eventually we'll see more from Bloodborne because we have to. It's so popular. It doesn't make sense why we wouldn't. I just truly think Sony is going to play hardball with it and out of spite maybe never use bloodborne again that's my theory and i just wanted to put it out there i think people got to stop getting out their hopes up at every single video game conference to see bloodborne related news because i don't think it's ever coming now i do have a track record of being very wrong where i make these if sony stops being a thing does that make the rights of bloodborne up for grabs no i think in the contracts there's things in the contract that protect it for that i think there are uh, things in the contract that protect this and i believe that um, a contract is gonna last a couple of handful of tens of years i believe and only after a certain amount of time period you can use it predictions and then within like a month it's completely washed I made a similar prediction for Halo Infinite, though Thanks I will say I was partially correct because what I talked about with Halo Infinite 
is that the game they showed would never come out, and it never did. What we got with Halo Infinite was a much more half-baked version of what they used to show. So oh boy. I'm going to I'm gonna stick to my guns on that a little bit. I was kind of half right with Halo Infinite. I was super wrong with Elden Ring, though. I said Elden Ring probably wouldn't be coming out for like another five or so years if it even existed at the current moment. And then it came <laughs> out like the following year. So, you know, I don't have the best track record with this. So this could serve a really noble purpose of like kind of just proving him wrong where I'm saying Bloodborne's never coming like a new Bloodborne. And then we'll get it in like a month or two. So please. Uh, you know. It's kind Please, of a win-win. world I'm either comer, right come that on! Never use Bloodborne again, or I'm wrong and we get more Bloodborne, which is a win for everybody. So, hey. you know, I, yeah, I just want to talk about it a little bit. <laughs> That's about it. See ya. Usually, after thirty to fifty years, or a family member, or right owner sells it. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If Sony goes the way of the Dodo, it's either going to be sold in full or a bit. By bit, so there's a possibility that some other company will make it. Bro, just just sell the rights back to um, FromSoft. Let them let them let them do their thing, man. Let them do their thing, please. Sony releasing Bloodborne PC port out of spite for Charlie, bro. I hope, <laughs> I hope, I fucking wish. Oh boy. <laughs> 